So good news for you scary movie fans out there. The Wayan brothers are back in business. Uh, Sean and Marlon, who haven't done anything in a while. Um, Marlon's been on his own doing stuff, and Sean's been more in the background. I think he's involved with uh, Damon Wayans' uh, show, uh, Papa's House, on CBS. So I think he's part of that team. Um, but now they're back together, and they're bringing back their brother Keenan for Scary Movie. Keenan directed one and two, um, uh, written, co-written by Sean and Marlon and a few writers. Um, so they made a lot of money off Scary Movie 1 and 2. I think it was under Miramax Studios. And for 3, they had an idea for 3. But before that happened, they went to the Weinsteins who ran Miramax. And they said, hey, you know, we made a lot of money. We want to renegotiate our terms. And <laughs> yeah, of course, like they, the first Scary Movie franchise didn't cost a lot of money. They made a lot of money. But then the Weinsteins remind me of Nick Tutorial and John Tutorial and Mo Better Blues when Spike was talking to them about money for the band and it was like no no it's too much money it's too much money <laughs> so these so these dudes these weinstein dudes jacked uh scary movie from the wands because they felt like they could have done it they could do it better I, th- I believe they brought in abram zucker and abrams uh for the airplane films i love those movies i love airplane one airplane two is very underrated they did the naked gun series um, with uh, Nel- Leslie Nielsen, Police Squad, which inspired the Naked Gun series. They did that. I love Abrams, Zucker Abrams. But for Scary Movie, it wasn't their franchise. Um, whatever twisted urban mind that Keenan and Sean and Marlon had for that film, Abrams, Zucker, and Abrams couldn't do it because they might be twisted, but they don't have a they don't have an urban feel to them. And, and the Scary Movie films had a very urban feel to it. Um I guess the Weinsteins probably thought, well, we can just make this to a, a mainstream franchise, but it didn't work. And it just slowly just limped away and died um, and disappeared like uh, Harvey Weinstein is in prison right now. <laughs> you know, it's just it's just it just faded away. You know, the funny thing is, I think uh, Marlon was on Club Shay Shay and he was talking about the other Weinstein brother. I think his name is Bob. And it seems like Bob wasn't as twisted as Harvey, but when it comes to business, it sounds like allegedly he wasn't a good guy either. So no, Sean, Sean, I mean, Marlon had no love for those guys. But now they're back. It's under a different studio. It's Scary Movie 6. So there's two questions now. Um, but before I get to that, um, going back to Keenan for a second, it had to be deja vu for him. Because when he, when he, when he had um, In Living Color, you know, seasons one and two was great. And if, but Fox kept on messing with him and messed with him so much that he said, you know what? I don't need this headache. And he left the series and he was followed by Damon and Kim and then, and then Martin, Sean, who was SW villain one. He left all the Wayans left after that and the show just, just died. Um, and it was probably like deja vu for Keenan. Um, because now he, he makes these two scary movie films. And once again, this company that should revere him or help him out, you know, as, as a big player in this game, they was like, no, we don't care. Like Fox should have gave Keenan anything he wanted. Keenan should have got like another spinoff of Living Color series, another comedy, another drama. He should have had the keys to the kingdom at Fox, but they 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 treated him bad. And same thing with the Weinsteins with Merrimack. So there's that. But what? So there's two things that that the two questions that people are asking is that what movies are they going to parody? Because the Wayans has not been involved in this franchise since 2003, and I think after that. I think they did white chicks after that. They like white chicks, a uh, little man. So they, they kept it moving. Like, even though they have been at the horror part, they kept it moving from a parody standpoint. They were fantastic doing that stuff. Um, but the main question is, will Regina Hall and Anna Ferris come back? Um, Anna Ferris has said in the past that she would love to do another scary movie, uh, movie. Uh, it just, the script has to be right. And Regina Hall, I'm sure she's game. I love Regina Hall. She, she's a great combination of just funny and pretty. <laughs> I love Regina Hall. Um, the funny thing about both of them is uh, for the first scary movie. So I guess the way the story goes, Anna Ferris graduated from college. I think I think she studied acting in college. She was supposed to, she was supposed to go on a trip, but she decided to go to L.A. to do some auditions. And scary movie was like one of the first auditions she did and she got it. So she was a brand, it was not just her first movie role, just her first role period. And she was great in it. And Regina, she had done the best man and a few other things, but for her, this was like her first leading role. So it shows you the type of eye that Keenan has for talent. Like Anna and Regina were new. It, and I remember it's like Jennifer Lopez in Living Color or Jamie Foxx in a Living Color. You know, Damon Wayans, he knew, he knew uh, uh, Jim Carrey and he introduced him to Keenan for a Living Color. 
So Keenan has this great eye for talent. And, you know, I hope that Anna and Regina are back, but we'll have to see. But yeah, but the question now is what movies do they parody? There's so many movies that's come out. Like I saw the, I saw a paranormal activity. I was late on it. Man, that film creeped me out. So you got paranormal activity. You got it. You got get out. You got Megan. Oh, you got the purge. <laughs> There's so many things like they should just look at what Blumhouse films put out in the past 15 years. Blumhouse. Most horror films that's come out in the past 15 years has been produced by Blumhouse. Like there's a few others that weren't there. It's like it and, and, and maybe Saw. But for the most part, a lot of these films were Blumhouse. Um, Paranormal Activity, Get Out, Us, Megan, I think The Nun, Insidious, maybe. Uh, the, the recent Halloween films with Jamie Lee Curtis, uh, The Purge. Like, and their model is the model, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre model. It's, or, or the first Halloween or the first Friday the 13th. Really good, interesting script, low budget, make a lot of money. And, and, and that's, and that's how those films, Texas Chainsaw had hardly any budget and it made so much money. Same thing with Halloween. Like, and that's, and that's the model they, that's the model they, they, they use. And for Jordan Peele, he did us and get out with them. But for Nope, he wanted a bigger budget. And I, I think they just say, I think they probably did want to work with them again, but it's just, you know, they have a line that, that they have a line of, of money that they use. And then Jordan went to another film to do Nope. The film wasn't terrible, but it was, it's not, it wasn't as good as Get Out. You know, it's just, and I think Jordan Peele is better when he has a smaller, great script and a smaller budget. So if you had a chance to talk to the Wayans, what three to five films would you like to see them parody? For me, it's definitely Get Out. I would love them to, to recreate the scene when my dude, she stirs the cup and she says, sleep. No! Ah! <laughs> that scene is so good because he's so, he's in that darkness. <laughs> he's, he's in the sunken place. I can, I can, I would love to see their version of the sunken place. You got Megan. Marlon playing around with Megan would be fun. Uh, it, especially the sewer scene in the beginning would be amazing. I still like the idea of the purge. Because, you know, Regina and Anna, they're a little older now, and Mar Marlon's 52, Sean's 53, so they're not these young ingenues anymore. Um, so I'd like to see, maybe maybe they have a situation like The Purge where they're trying to figure out how to get, get away from these killers <laughs> on this night. So The Purge would be fantastic. A Quiet Place would be really good, too. Like, I would love to see Anna and Regina and Sean and Marlon try try to do these scenes where they can't talk and they're just using their physical comedy and their, and their eyes <laughs> and try to communicate with each other. That would, that would be great too. There's so, they have so many options, right? And also I wonder if they can do a version of like what they're doing with the latest on uh, screen movies where you have like the old school characters like um, Courtney Cox, David Arquette, um, Nev, Nev Campbell's supposed to come back for the next one, but then you have young actresses, right? Like Jenna Ortiz, shout out to Jenna, Jenna, Jenna Ortiz, fantastic young actress. Um, so you have the old and the young. So I don't know. I don't know. So yeah, if, if you had a chance to talk to the Wayans, which three to five films would, would you love to parody? And I, I almost want them to film them back to back. I almost want to do, have them do a scary movie six and seven back to back, um, because everybody's getting older. You know, why everybody still kind of look pretty young, <laughs> get these films done now. Um, but whatever, if, if it's just one or two, I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it.